If you don't have Vinny's trading cheat code, what are you doing with your life? I just updated Vinny's trading cheat code. That's what this video is about, guys. I want to introduce to you to something that has never been done before, or I haven't even seen it. Um, hands down, Vinny's trading cheat code is the best indicator to know when to buy and when to sell on the market, and I stand behind that. Ten thousand percent. Okay, you're looking at Vinny's trading cheat code right now. Okay, so for those of you who don't know what this is, this is an indicator that gives you highly, highly, highly accurate buy and sell signals. When price goes outside of these envelope bands, it's going to give you either a CC buy or CC sell. That is what we call extremes in the market. That is what you should be trading because that's going to offer you the highest probability of a trade going in your direction. Okay. So that's what we trade here inside Vinny's trading cheat codes community. We trade CC buy and CC sales. Now with this indicator, we have two strategies. We have a long-term strategy, which we call the GSA strategy, which the strategy is a four hour signal, one hour break and retest. And we also have a scalping strategy called the bread and butter strategy, which is a one hour signal, five or 15 minute break and enter the position. Okay. So nothing has changed with those strategies. What I've done with Vinny's trading cheat code and update is to give you a conf confirm buy or sell button. Uh, the problem was sometimes when you get a cheat code buy or sell signal price could go against you. Okay. And price not may not be ready to turn around. Sometimes you can go into a uh, drawdown and you'll be sitting in drawdown waiting for price to go in your direction. Now with this uh, new confirm alert, confirm buy or sell button, uh, you'll know when to get into the trade exactly. So we're going to take a look at, it, at this example here. We have a CC sell, okay? And we're, we're going to talk about a... GSA strategy. So we're on a four hour time frame on GBP NZD. We have a CC sale here. Okay. And we have our four hour signal. The next thing we want to do is look for a one hour break and retest. That one hour break and retest is going to be a break of the HMA here. Okay. So you have an HMA, which is in between the bands. And then you have another uh, moving average, which is a 47 moving average that we use to give us our direction on the time frame. But besides that, we got our four hour signal. OK, so next thing we want to do, we want to go to the one hour time frame and we want to look for the break and retest. So. We are now on the one hour time frame. This is the signal that we got on the four hour time frame. As when price is outside of the band, you're going to get a cheat code sell signal. Right. Price finally broke the HMA here. OK, and it came back up to retest now. Let's go ahead and turn on the confirm alerts. But first, before I do, that, let's go to back to the four hour time frame so you can see where the confirm alert shows up at on the four hour time frame. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Hit OK. All right. So we have our confirm alert right here on this bearish candle. OK. That is where our confirm sale popped up on. Now let's go to the one hour. All right. And let's see if we can get a, a little better entry besides this candle here. Okay. So let's go ahead and mark this candle. Let's go back to the one hour time frame. All right. So on the four hour time frame, our confirmation was here. Now we're on the one hour time frame. We can see our confirmation confirmed sale is here. OK, so that means we could have got in on this candle on the one hour time frame. That's a big difference, guys. How many how many pip difference is that? Let's take a look here. Let's count from this candle to this candle. It's about 20 pips. OK, so I give you a, a, about a 20 pip entry. You could have got in on that. But anyway, that's a, that's our four hour signal, one hour break and retest. So now all you have to do 
is wait for your four hour signal, go to the one hour time frame, set an alert for the confirmation sell. So if you want to set an alert, you go to the one hour time frame, which we're on right now, and you're going to left click and you're going to go to add alert. Okay. Next thing you're going to do is go to condition. You're going to go to Vinny's cheat code and confirm alerts. The next thing you're going to do is go down to, to here. So this is our confirm alerts. We have a CC long and a CC short. So you're selling GBP and ZD. That means you're going to do a CC short and you're going to do once per bar close. And then you're going to click create. Now you have your alert. So once this candle closes and it gives you a confirmed sale, then you can confidently enter in your sale position for GBP and ZD. Okay. And it's totally up to you how long you want to stay in that trade. Now, since you're trading off of the four hour time frame, let's go ahead and erase this. Since you're trading off of the four hour time frame, you may just want to take your trade down to the next support. So this next support could be 66 pips away. You can trade it down to this support, which is 84 pips away, or this support, which is 122 pips away. Or now you can see prices all dropping all the way down to this next support, which is 188 pips away. Okay. That is the power of Vinny's trading cheat code and confirm alerts. Now let's take a look at a, our bread and butter strategy. Okay. So let me go ahead and turn on the CC trend indicator and we'll go to the one hour time frame, and let's go ahead and find a bread and butter strategy that we can use. Um, Okay, so we can use this Euro USD trade right here. So let's go ahead and turn off the confirm alerts real quick. All right, so on a bread and butter strategy, our bread and butter strategy is very, very simple. We, we need a CC buy, okay? And then we also need a high probability spike, which is this blue line right here. So let's go ahead and mark this off, okay? Now, if we want to enter into this uh, buy here on Euro USD, the next thing we want to do, since we got our, our CC buy, we want to go to the 15 minute time frame. And I'm just going to highlight this so I know exactly where we are. I'm going to highlight that candle right there. And we're going to go to the 15 minute time frame. And all we're going to do is wait till we get a confirm buy on the 15 minute time frame. Okay, so this is the the where the CC buy was on the one hour time frame. Now we're going to turn on our confirm alert. And we're going to look for a buy. So we have our buy here on this candle right here. We have a confirm buy right there. So now we can enter the position after that candle closes for a long. Okay, and we can ride it up to the next resistance. Our stop will be below this low right here. And voila, that is a, that's a quick 17 pip trade right there. Okay. Off of the 15 minute time frame. Now, if you're trading off the one hour time frame, you can hold this trade for a lot longer. As you see, price shot all the way up. Okay. So that's our bread and butter strategy, guys. Now you have a system that will confirm the buy or sell button. So let me explain something to you real quick. Let's go back to a higher time frame, the four hour time frame. The confirm buy or sell buttons is only valid if you get a CC buy or CC sell. Remember guys, we only take trades from the CC buy or CC sell. We don't take trades off any other buy or sell alert that we get here on this system. Okay, we must first get a CC buy or CC sell, and then we wait for the confirm buy or sell on a lower time frame. That's that's it. That's how it works. Okay, you keep it very simple. It's not hard to understand. We only take trades from the CC buy or CC sell once we get that, and that can be on any time frame. That can go for the one minute time frame all the way up to the monthly time frame. 
Okay. You want to wait for your CC buyer, CC sell, and then you just want to wait to confirm that 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 is a buy. So on a four hour time frame, uh, let's say you didn't want to use the GSA strategy or the bread and butter strategy, and you just wanted to wait on the four hour time frame to get into this Euro USD trade, right? So now we're looking at it. We got a CC buy here. And now all you would do is simply wait until you get a confirm buy signal. And then you would have entered into a buy position. Okay. And rolled that trade all the way up. Right. Going to a lower time frame, it just gives you a better entry. That's all it does. Okay. You can really just trade off a one time frame. But again, if you, that's only if you don't want to use the strategy. But again, we have our strategy that we use. The GSA strategy, again, is a long-term swing trading strategy. And then we have our bread and butter strategy, which is our short-term scalping strategy. And now you have something to confirm that buy or sell button. Now, if you don't get that, that means you don't enter into the trade because, again, the trade is not ready yet. Okay. And that is how you use the confirmation buy and sell button. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to have a, for those of you who don't have it, I'm going to run a special right now. Um, what you need to do is drop a comment below this video and I will uh, send you a discount code to get you uh, a discount off of the cheat code system. Okay. So again, leave a comment below this video and I will send you a discount code for you to get Vinny's trading cheat code. For those of you who want this cheat code system, there is a link below this video. Click the link, leave a comment first, and I'll send you a discount code. Other than that, thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next video.